Hello fellow nerds, I hope you're all doing very well. I hope you had a wonderful holiday season. I haven't done a video in a while and that makes sense because it was December and that means end of term madness. I moved also, I changed houses and it was all the holiday season so there we go, voila. Um, but I will jump right back into this project and finish it because I'm kind of bored of tic-tac-toe and I'll move to something more uh, interesting, maybe even more interactive. Anyway, so um, last video I did, I remember that there was a bug with the images not loading properly that's been fixed. I'll show you how that happened. And then I also changed the, oh, here we go, the retry and title screen, I added listeners on them and created basic functions just to get that working. So here are my uh, event listeners and uh, my functions for the retry and the title screen. As for the image breaking, it was just because I added an extension .png. So if you want to load uh, images from your resources, I made a resources folder images and I put my test in it. I named it test because I had so much issues. I, I literally couldn't sleep for days trying to figure this out until my friend told me, well, I do the same thing, but I don't put extensions and that worked. So thank you. Um, so yeah, this technically this works. However, what you need to think is that when you start over a game that uh, saves uh, information somewhere, you need to be able to put that information back to default, you know, or else if I click again, then X will still have one or O will still have one since those, uh, the information that I have in here doesn't change, you know, so I need to reset those back to zero. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clear the board. So I need to make it up. Do I need to make it public? I need, we'll see. So start over. I'm going to do uh, a for loop so that all of my uh, so I can iterate easily through all of my positions in my board. Game okay, mechanics dot yeah okay I need to make it public. So public static uh, board perfect. So this is every time that I go through I. So position I is going to represent the zero through eight which is my positions in my board, I'm going to say, oops, I don't need to do that. What am I doing? It equals a uh, null because we want it to be empty without anything. Um, that's it. And then I also need to change the game mechanics dot a turn equals zero and game mechanics dot player one equals null. Or should it be empty string? Uh, let me let me just check. So player one is a string. This is also a string. Let's see where I use them. Hmm. I use them uh, here as well. Player one equals a. Player one and it. Okay, this is good. See, it checks here if it's not null. So I will default it to null that way. It's not gonna, it's not gonna get it, you know, not gonna get it. And now, mm, since I want to copy the same code from here inside the second function, copy paste is bad. What you want to do is create a new function called uh, whatever you want. I'm going to say void clear current game. Just paste the code in here. That way your code is way more pretty to look at and no one is confused. Things are good. So I feel that this should work, but you never know. It's programming. Sometimes I do silly mistakes and by sometimes I mean often. Yes, I am one of those people that puts debug code everywhere. So I'm going to go on my title screen and try the two player. See how that works. X is going to win. I'm going to click retry. Okay, that worked. And now O is going to win. Perfect. Uh, does title screen work? Yes, it does. Uh, what else? Oh, we can. We should test the AI actually. So one player. 
that was my only fear is that maybe when you retry with the AI, there might be a problem. Okay, seems to be okay so far. Should we let the AI win? Seems to be a bit slow. Oh, well, I'm going to win then. Fine. Uh, title screen, two players. Let's just see that I... I know how to fix this. If it's, uh, since we set the AI to true on the title screen, if if it goes back to uh, 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 the title screen, we want the AI to be set to false. Yes, so this is in a title screen. Oh my goodness, why did I call it something that already exists? That is not good. Titlescreen.ai Ooh. False. Oh no 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 I don't I don't like this. Can I rename this and is it gonna like fix refactor this? Adjust namespaces. Okay, how do I change the name for it? I want to I don't think I can snap a doodle pop. Uh, 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 edit, edit title screen.cs. No, it's not letting me change the. Can I change the name? Oh, I can't. Okay. Um, Uh, how do I get it to be mine and not like the one that exists? Tie. What is this? It's a button. How come it doesn't find mine though? Like I get what you're doing and that makes perfect sense. It's me being an idiot. Do I not use these anywhere else? No, I don't. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy all this, create a new script. Uh, is it a class? Can I just create a new script? I'm going to do it through here because I don't know how it works. <laughs> I'm going to create a script and call it, uh, let's say, create C sharp script. Um, my title screen. There we go. I'll edit that and just basically put everything that I had from the previous script in here because it worked fine. And one screen will have my title screen AI equals false. Am I an idiot? I am an idiot. Wow. I thought it was a pre-made thing. It clearly wasn't. I wasted two minutes of your life right there. Thank me later, friends. Thank me later. Delete this because it makes no sense. I don't need it. Yes, delete. Um. So let's see if that works now once that we've edited it in a way that it should say false when you go back from one player to two players. If that's it, then I am done with this project. Access one, title screen, two players. Woo! And if I make O win. I am super happy. This is done. It works. I I I am very happy about that. I will uh, build it f 
for the internets. Add all open scenes, bushes. I will build this and then I will send it to, oh what? Oh well, I can, I will try to put the link somewhere. Maybe it'll be in my next video, whatevs, but um, there we go, tic-tac-toe done and complete. If you have an idea for a future project you'd like me to see, just mention it below in the comments. Uh, I I have a few ideas. I'm going to go through them and see which one is challenging without being too challenging because, you know, I don't want to just uh, stress out over everything. But I'm glad that this has worked and it's a decent game, you know. It's not a... It, it, I found a few, like this, earning this is going to be super useful, I think. And um, just figuring out how to do stuff. I could still refactor all of this, but... I just want to move on to something different and more exciting. So here we go. Here it was. So thank you guys for sticking around and for making this a fun journey. Yes, yes, that's right. Um, like, subscribe, and share your ideas in the comments. Bye.